Happy Thursday, YouTube family. We are back with another Safe Moon video. Yesterday, I went through and walked through how to actually install the app for the first time and create a brand new wallet on the Safe Moon app. Today, I'm going to go through, wipe the app off completely from my iPad, and then go through the import process in case you have another wallet on another app such as Trust Wallet like myself. I didn't want to pay the fees to have my tokens imported, so this is definitely going to be the best way to go about it. Alright guys, if you do enjoy the content, please feel free to thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We're going to jump over to the iPad and see what it's all about. Okay guys, you know the drill by now. We are going to go back out and re-download the SafeMoon app. This time when I typed in SafeMoon into the bar up here, it actually brought up SafeMoon to the top because I had already downloaded it. So I'm going to go ahead and type the cloud to reinstall the app. And while we go through this, I uh, hope you guys had a good experience so far. I've uh, been on Reddit just before I got on here to see what the, uh, the feedback and everything was from the community. And everybody seems to uh, be going through and getting more coins and checking out the different ways to either import their wallet or to uh, create a new wallet. Uh, it just depends on how many tokens you have, whether or not you're really willing to pay the fee or if you want to just import uh, you might as well go ahead and import if you already have another wallet somewhere else. There's real no reason to. Hey guys, we have the app installed and now we are ready to begin the import process. Just like last time, you're going to click on the box down at the bottom which allows terms and conditions. And this time instead of clicking on create a new wallet, we're going to go ahead and click on the import with recovery phase. What this is going to do is bring up the screen that's going to allow you to enter the words that you first used when you created your wallet on the other site, such as Trust Wallet or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the information from my other wallet and then I'm going to input that information and we're going to pick it up right after I get that information in there. I will be right back. Okay guys, once you get those words typed in there, which I have just put in there and successfully entered, you'll get a success notification and then you're going to get a, an area where you can actually set up your unique password. Uh, this is going to be for the new wallet so it isn't anything that you would have written down beforehand unless you just have a password that you'd like to use. So I'm going to go ahead and enter a new password for the app. Okay now that we have the password entered I'm going to go ahead and click on the confirm button here at the bottom and it's going to go through a loading process and then we're going to see uh, what's going to start importing here. Now, right now I do have what you see is uh, around $2.57 left. Uh, that is what is in my actual smart chain. Uh, that was left over from when I had been trying to flip over some money and whatnot. So we're going to look through. Okay, guys, I adjusted the video just a little bit so you could get a little bit better view of the screen. Uh, when I first confirmed and logged into the wallet, I couldn't see my tokens to begin with, so what I really needed to do was actually refresh, that way it would give a little bit of time to uh, pull in my token information. The first thing that I did is I actually went up here where you see Smart Chain BEP-20. I clicked on that and then I clicked on Ethereum. What that did is it switched me to a different screen showing a different your token UI right here. Once I did that, I actually went back and then clicked on Smart Chain BEP again. And when I did that, it actually showed me the refreshed amount and showed my actual SafeMoon tokens. So if you first log in and don't see any tokens there, don't be too alarmed. It may take a few moments for it to refresh. The other thing you can do is try switching back and forth between screens. But again, as long as you're patient, you shouldn't have any issues with your tokens showing up in a timely manner. Okay guys, thanks a lot for coming by and uh, checking out the video again. If you do enjoy the content, please feel free to check out some of my other videos. I'm going to be uploading on a regular basis with uh, market analysis and also some day trading content. Thanks a lot. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday. Take care.